a Scottish tail. Donald and Douglas are Scottish twin engines. When they first arrived on the island, they were very cheeky and liked to cause trouble. Eventually, they are they are common shunters at the at the yards. They they even shunt trucks and coaches for the big engines to take on journeys before they can get they can get some rest. The twins the twins were happy to be to to be together and were and were always having great chats. That was about to change. Douglas now Douglas now pulls a special coach on his branch line. He brags and both boasts about it, but it makes Douglas jealous and very angry. But Douglas but Donald just just laughs and laughs. A few he he usually travels on his branch line seeing the world, although Douglas doesn't, while he's shunting at the yards. Donald's branch line was was also at Wellsworth Station and was also at the construction site at where the big boulder is. Donald Donald loves this, although he likes to see the world. It it makes him smell the salty fresh air when he goes up the mountain and to the coastal track through the bumpy bridge the Shake Shake Bridge and he enjoys enjoys going to Shake Shake Bridge when he goes down. One morning, Donald had just came just came back back from a long journey on his branch line where he where he met Ed where he met Edward at the sheds all alone. He was feeling he was he was feeling like he had nothing to do. Hello <coughs> Hello Edward said said Donald. What's the matter? Nothing much, said Edward. I'm just I'm just sitting in the sheds waiting for a goods train to be pulled, that's all, he said. How are things going on your branch line? Uh, very well, thank you, said Donald. Although I am missing Doody, I've got to admit. Oh, I know how that feels, said Doc, said Edward. Anyway, he said, but then he was interrupted by his driver. Come on, Edward, your goods train's ready, let's go. Oh, I better be off then, said Edward. Goodbye, Donald. Goodbye. <coughs> Goodbye, Edward, said said Donald. And the turntable turned towards Edward's line and Edward puffed away. While Donald was waiting to take a nap at the sh at the sheds, his dr his driver uncle pulled in from his coach until Donald shunted in the in the yards for him, and Donald was now backing towards the sheds after being turned by the turntable. I don't know what to do, said Donald. I've been tired all day, he said, and he dozed off to sleep. Later, Sir Handel was, shunt was shunting some trucks outside the yard. He was he was still getting cross with being beaten by the silly trucks. The, the handle was getting old and needed new parts, so the trucks pla decided to play tricks on him. The, on, on, on they went! Stop it! cried the handle. Then he realised he was heading for the turntable. The turntable master saw what was going to happen and quickly turned the turntable. But unfortunately, he missed the right turn, and now the trucks began crashing into the turntable began crashing into the turntable and now the turntable was was blocked and poor Donald couldn't even and now poor Donald couldn't even couldn't even move. So handle your great your great silly engine. Now I can't in, even get out of the sheds and you know I don't like being trapped. Sorry, said sorry, said Sir Handel, but it's not my fault. Now now I found out that now now I found out that you were going to pull your train, and now Douglas will have to do it. Donald was Donald was ve Donald was very very cross, but he was embarrassed too. Just then, Douglas back 
Douglas backed in to collect Donald's coat. Poor Donny Donald, said Douglas. Je now who's jealous now? Oh, said du Oh, said Donald. Don't you start? He Don't you start? He said. I'm supposed to pull that coat because I'm Scottish. N well, I can pull it too, said said Douglas. I'm Scottish too, and I'm your brother. He and I'm your brother, he said. And what's the point of in pointing you teasing me because I'm jealous, he said. Then Donald was even more embarrassed. You know what, he said. Take my, take my passengers, he said. I'm sorry if, if I'm being so, so horrid to you, he said. Do Douglas was delighted and puffed away to take, to take Donald's coach to Wellsworth. He had to be quick about it. Just then, he saw, he saw Arthur and Edward on his, on his way. Edward had just come home from his good, from taking a goods train, and Arthur had just come home from the fish, fishing village. They both, they both heard what was going on, and, and, whist, and whistled, and whistled congratulations to Douglas. You can do it, Douglas, shouted Arthur. Then they both whistled. A few moments after, Douglas was happy to be out and about and seeing the world. He went up Shake Shake Bridge, and then he remembered. Those must be very lucky to be owning a branch line, he said. Now I can go through the construction site at, at, at Boulder Mountain, he said. Soon he began to feel excited. He went up. He went down and through the tunnel where he was going to meet his location at Wellsworth. Meanwhile, back at the sheds, both Henry, Emily, Gordon and James had already heard what had been going on and were beginning to think it was a hoax. I knew Donald never had it within him, said Henry. I thought he was too smart and, and was being a show-off. Agreed, said James. Now, which engine shall we pick is our favourite? I'm going to pick for I'm going to pick for Douglas," said Gordon, "because he's always jealous of Donald," he said. "Or what about Toby?" said Emily. "He's my favourite." Don't don't add him to our add him to our favourite list," said Henry. "He's he's all puffed out in a smoke box. He'd never hit a fly." "Yeah," said Jack. Said James, or what about our favourite road vehicles? I'm going to go for Byron, or Kelly, or Butch. Hello, said Gordon. It's engines we're talking about, not road vehicles. Then they heard, then they heard an engine's whistle. They could not believe what who they'd heard. There, racing to Wellsworth with Douglas with Donald's coach. Douglas finally arrived at Wellsworth station with Donald's coach. The passengers got in, the guard blew his whistle, and Douglas puffed away. Hello, my friends! shouted Do Donald, and he whistles peep peep to his and he whistles goodbye to his to his fellow engines, and the and the engines in the sheds never forgot to say say ne never forgot to and his and the engines from inside the sheds never forgot Never forget to say peep peep in return. And then, the, and then there was another, there was another chat. Well, you ne well you'll never tell which engine is your, is your fan nowadays. Chuckled Byron. Both the three road vehicles began to laugh, and the, and the four big engines inside the sheds could never agree so.